I am Dr. Subhash Kumar Sinha, Director of Cardiac Surgery in Max Hospital, Saket, Delhi. I have over 34 years of experience in cardiac surgery, doing open heart surgery from the very beginning and having done more than 10,000 cases. Today, I am going to tell you something about coronary artery bypass surgery. Coronary artery bypass surgery, as ke tarikh mein, बहुत ही ज्यादा कॉमन हो गया है और जिस फैमिली की बात करें हर एक फैमिली में किसी न किसी का बाईपास सर्जरी हुआ होगा सो वेन देर इज अ ब्लॉकेज इन द कॉर्नरी आर्टरीज एंड द ब्लॉकेज इज मोर देन 75 परसेंट देन बाईपास सर्जरी और एंजियोप्लास्टी इज नीडेड इफ देर इज ओनली वन ब्लॉकेज और टू आर्टरीज विच आर ब्लॉक देन एंजियोप्लास्टी इज अ good method to be done where we dilate the lesion and put a stent it is something like a spring to hold that dilatation that means the dilatation should not collapse again this is called ptca or angioplasty with stent now if you require more than two stents it is better to go for coronary artery bypass surgery that means you go for surgery open heart surgery where we open the chest and do bypass graftings one can say that why not put three or four or five stents yes you can do it but if you put one stent the incidence of another blockage in that stent is roughly about five to seven percent so if you do three to four stents in a person then the blockage percentage or probability goes on increasing so whenever you have more than two stents requirement or more than two arteries which are blocked it is safer and better to do a coronary artery bypass surgery now what we do in bypass surgery is we bypass the obstructive lesions and use arterial grafts or venous grafts that means we use either a internal mammary artery which we have two of them in our chest behind the breastbone or another is a radial artery and then there are other conduits which is saphenous vein graft from the leg bypass surgery as of today is very safe with less than 1% mortality but if you have had a heart attack and the heart function becomes weak the incidence of or the morbidity or the stay in the hospital may become more hence it is very important that one person comes as early as possible if he has coronary artery disease an angiogram should be done and leave it to the cardiologist or the cardiac surgeon to say whether a bypass surgery is needed or not so this is what one should do now coming to the venous grafts yes venous grafts do last and we have patients who have had their venous grafts and arterial grafts and bypass surgery 20 years 25 years back the most important thing after a bypass surgery is to maintain yourself it is important that diabetes and hypertension if you have should be taken care of properly smoking for coronary artery bypass patients is absolutely a no no one should not uh, indulge in smoking or for that matter tobacco in any form the other thing is a good exercise regime and reduce uh, reduction of weight you should have a proper walking regime and one should walk at least 5 to 6 kilometers every day that keeps your grafts going and that keeps you healthy always diabetes should be kept well under control blood pressure medicine one has to take regularly bypass surgery also can be done through minimally invasive route where you do not open the chest completely you do a, a small incision in the th thorax just about two inches in season but this method should be reserved for only straight forward cases and a good uh, vessels or maybe two or three grafts if you have more grafts bad vessels this method 
is not suitable or one should not indulge into this method. It is important to give a good surgery and a good results rather than trying to make the incision small. So if you have a coronary artery disease and you have got blockages, do not be afraid. Today, CAPG operation is very safe and you can be back to your work within two weeks. So you should come for surgery and take it in your own stride because it is much safer and better to live a healthy life rather than to keep on continuing with medicines in the fear that once you go out or you go outside for something, you may get a heart attack. So CABG today, as of today, is a very uh, well done operation. It's safe and the results of CABG are very good and the patient lives a really healthy life. I have patients who are running Delhi Marathon. I have patients who are playing, they are doing all sorts of activities in the sports side. They are climbing mountains. So don't think that after CABG, it's the end of the world. Thank you.